What's up guys, today we're gonna do the iron raid. I know it's gonna be the first long raid I'm doing here. And here's how we here's how I start off like we start off like this. Well if you have like certain abilities you could get all these like you could get all the foes here at once. I know it normally would be impossible to do that. If you select a certain foe to start off, the chain reaction worth, it will go for all of them. Like right here. Let's go. And now the f now the first boss in this instance is it is right up over here. Get rid of this stupid thing right here. This is Zilar, the Fionix God. He's the first boss. Of the you have to get like at least close enough to hit him. If you have a range ability, you have to if you have range abilities, you have to be close enough to him to be able to get him. See how oh, this is. Oh haha. There's these besides him there's these pots that patrol around the area. To make it easier for you to get the boss, if you take out the Fionix hawks. It will be easier for you to defeat the first boss of the instance, which is Alar. Yeah. Alright, here we go. See what he drops. Woo! Nice. He drops some epics. Alright. That's the last hawk. That's the last Fionix hawk. Yeah, that's what the, the NPC is actually called. There we go. It's a patrolling one, meaning it. It's a constant move. It's one of those constant, one of the patrolling NPCs in instance. It's patrolling is one of the patrolling foe types. And wow, it's not the only type, but it's one of them. Here's a little trick with these Crystal Court such those and the Devastator. There's one patrolling Devastator. Well, you could take all these guys down and another two over here in the back as additional kills. If you instead, if you don't do take them down, and instead, if you're high enough, of, you could just go right through all these goos, these Sentinels and Devastate. And the Devastator, you can skip past them to get straight to the boss over here. Now normally you have to fight all these guys along the way to the boss. But I'm gonna show you exactly that, but that what, what you would normally do before you get to the boss. And these guys give you this to do this debuff on you. Should just give you that debuff. Normally at that exact level we'll be always guaranteed. There it goes. Alright. Alright, here's the big guy. Right. After those patrolling ones there is the second boss of the instance. This guy's really big. So to do this here, the Void Weaver is the second boss of this instance. And, well, I could show you his full-on fight, but you know, he take normally he would take a long time to take out. But he also drops some good epics as well. I, 
yeah, you, yeah, everyone knows they like the epics. Well, in this, there are. Well, I could show you what foes are beyond this point. They're like. Once before you get to like. More kill foes. Or the. Okay, I'm not spoiling a thing, but. This is, leads up to the final boss of the instance, which I don't want to say yet, because I'm not spoiling anything. These are the foes you will face against before you get to him. Before you get to the final boss of this instance. And they are on this end of the right side. And they happen to be around this side and the right side as well. Just showing you what it's like to get them all here. Dwight says it's gonna take me a little bit to get to, but. <coughs> Sorry, that was just doing a normal clearing thing. Alright, now let's just get to the right side of this instance, which is where the third boss of the instance is. Yes, this raid has a total of four bosses. I know it's short, well it's not as short as some other instances, but it's still pretty short. It's a really interesting one, nonetheless. There's these three patrolling ones here and two sentinels here. And then a bunch of these guys over here, star squares and astromancers. As well as some squires. There's six of each side here. That adds to a total of 12. The third boss of this instance is the High Astromancer, which is right over here. See, all these guys are here. These are two sets of three patrolling around. If you don't if you don't get them fast enough, they will charm these nether scrolls will charm you if you don't get them fast enough. Here's a little trick here. Getting them de down to the advance will help you out so you don't get charmed in the middle of getting all these groups of over here. In these areas. But all these groups will come if there's a trick to getting all these guy groups at once. If you take out the boss, third boss, which is the high instruments right here, all these groups will come at you at once for a harder challenge. Now, normally, this is not recommended to do like this, but if you want an extra challenge for yourself, well, there you go. Face all the groups at once. If you have an AoE ability, it would be perfect to take them all down. A really good AoE ability. Mine is... Mine can be this, or this. Woven and Odin's Fury. There is a talent that makes Avatar also behave like Odin's Fury. Which it could be a good talent. If you use this and this at the same time. And it also make Odin's Fury make you not only get bigger, but also have effects like the effect of Avatar. You have half the effectiveness of Avatar. And Avatar will have half the effectiveness of the normal Odin's Fury. It's like six of them right here, and there's three more patrolling right here. A lot of these ones can be. A lot of them are random. Random. Can it be random? Maybe male or female. 
I know it's that's obvious enough, but you know. Just ex just explaining more so nobody gets confused. And there's another four right there. And there's and the last four it, there's the last four of them are back here. I will show. There we go. And now here's the final boss of the instance. Kalthos himself. Energy. Power. This is the this when is where he originated. To it, this is the this is his first appearance in the instance in the it's in this way. Welcome to the future. But I pity you are too late to stop it. Yeah. No one can stop me now. So sure. I shall ignore it. He says nobody can stop him, but that's why we go and stop him. But we stop him for a good reason. He doesn't get all powerful. Prepare yourselves! Because many of the mages think that he was not a good guy. And they were right about that. Blood for blood. Kind of says things quietly and farther away. If you're closer to him, you can hear it more loudly. Thus endure I reign supreme. <laughs> they don't reign supreme anymore, don't they? No. Oh, you could be a master engineer. Ha! <laughs> Didn't we get a chance to damage you? As you right. see. Oh, the weapons could have done a lot, a number done me, but you know. Right. Oh, I wish the car boss. Go be all alone. It's like, what have you done to my weapons? Yes, I can see. I can. I turn every do. Actually, you, I turn every time you turn. You can't. It's like I turn every time you turn. He's really, he's really a. This is kind of like a unique thing with Sun Bosses. Is always turn wherever you turn. It's that's the type of thing that is. It's a, it's a thing that exists. You're too close to Sanguinar here. Close to it would be unfair to make you fight all four of us. To this guy right here. Oh god, three of them. Each we did take each of these each of them out. Every time we take each of these guys out, including this one right here. They have different things to say when you take them down. This is not the this is the final one. Sometimes one must I have not come this far to be stopped. The future he also could also be be spawn the Onyx. Now you will taste true. And when they go and when they go and when they you know, they turn to an egg, but if you take out the egg fast enough, the Fionix won't be reborn. Wow! Whoa! He's getting bigger. He's a big boy. Now he's a real big boy now. He's like, yeah, he's coming to that point. Let's get him here. Four, quell the All right, now let's see what he drops. Alright, we got him. He's a, used to be a very hard boss, if y'all know back in the day. Let's see what he drops. He drops 
probably the best. He actually drops like the best epics in this instance. So there's that. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And also make sure to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.